Advocate Tokozani Mvelase. Um, I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Comric. Comric is a communication risk information center, which is an association that was formed by five key telecom companies in South Africa, which is Vodacom, MTN South Africa, Telcom, Celsi, and Liquid um, Technologies. So the presentation I had to do today was to really stress the importance of collaboration. I think these telecom companies started the concept of collaborating, looking at the issues of risk and crime that is affecting the industry. My presentation today was to really highlight why it is critical that we collaborate and continue to fight the sketch of the crime that is really affecting our infrastructure, but also in terms of how as a sector we are able to contribute to crime prevention initiatives in the country with the various projects that we can initiate. I think the, the biggest concerns when it comes to collaboration, it always is about how do we share and exchange data that is critical for us to arrive at decisions that can be probably for intelligence gathering that can be used as well with crime intelligence in terms of fighting the various crimes. As an industry, we suffer a lot in terms of infrastructure damage through sabotage or through the theft of the infrastructure like batteries, like diesel and generators. But also what we undergo through is that there's a lot of identity theft and, and SIM swap fraud that is happening that is hampering the image of the industry. So that's why it is very important that we understand the data around why is it important and how is it increasing or decreasing and what are we doing right or wrong as the industry. So today my presentation was really to, to emphasize the importance of collaboration as the industry. Thank you. In the next five years, we see ourselves that we would have grown bigger. Currently we have five members who are the founders of Combrick. Where I see ourselves in the five years is that all the players in the ICT sector needs to be members of Comric, and that will be very critical for the sector as a whole because it's, more, it's not about telephones, it's about the ICT and that's where we see ourselves in the, in the next five years. Hi everyone, this is Philip speaking. I'm the Managing Director for Bayapop South Africa. I just held a presentation here today at Connected Africa. Um, it was a pleasure to talk to everyone about fiber to everything. Um, and that's what really excites us as Bayo about connecting the continent, connecting the people, um, you know, really making an impact and because we believe everybody deserves um, you know, connected life. Um, the challenges that we see, especially where uh, you know capital cost of capital has increased over the last couple of months or years, uh, we see that we need to combine our efforts to really roll out additional fiber in Africa, specifically me being responsible for South Africa. We're looking at the strategic alliances to go build and co-create um, basically new infrastructure plays into the, um, the country uh, in order to connect everybody. And we will have some challenges ahead for sure because there are some sunk investments that are there, but for the new builds we really need to put together. I'm inviting everybody in the industry to come to us and do their annual planning, their capital planning, their requirements in terms of network capacities with us together so we can build the, the best possible uh, network footprint in South Africa and beyond the South African borders to really connect the people. Thank you very much. My name is Davide Tacchino and I'm the managing executive for Terminals in Vodacom. In my presentation, I will underline the digital divide issue in Africa, in particular looking at the device perspective, how we could make device more affordable and boost digital inclusion as a consequence. 
Uh, I will talk about the problem, uh, the production cost, but also import duties and taxes. Uh, I will talk about the opportunity, so the GDP growth uh, that uh, devices, affordability on devices uh, could unlock. And uh, I will talk about uh, uh, the action, immediate actions and long-term actions needed to uh, unleash digital inclusion in Africa. Uh, in particular, uh, I will mention the United Nations Broadband Commission uh, report on uh, device affordability, which was issued uh, in uh, uh, November 2023, and uh, uh, the actions uh, related to such, uh, such a report. Uh, in particular, uh, I will touch uh, um, handset financing, taxes and import duties, distribution networks, uh, as well as uh, uh, subsidies uh, and uh, um, refurbished devices, uh, good as new devices. Last but not least, I will also mention uh, uh, a new concept uh, coming into the market, the cloud phone, uh, a product uh, uh, very, very affordable because uh, uh, all the costs uh, are stripped out and uh, basically services and apps uh, uh, stay in the cloud. Uh, this could really allow and boost uh, uh, 2G migration towards uh, towards 4G. Okay. Hi, my name is Vikash Bharat. I'm part of the group digital team responsible for video and TV services. So yes, we are launching some innovative and exciting services that will cover video on demand, linear TV or free to air, audio channels all brought to you on your smartphones and smart TVs and they are on, on set of boxes. Our offering is going to be majorly uh, positioned on local content relevant to our communities, our mass market segments and also hyper local content where our customers are interested in engaging with content that is relative on a daily basis. So what is MTN doing to bring this to our customers? We've launched the service already in Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Benin and Congo Brazzaville called MTN TV. Streaming service in partnership also with Canal Plus that allows you to access all the content that Canal Plus brings to their customers on various packages bundled with MTN's data and priced at affordable daily and weekly price points. What is innovative is that we allow the customer to buy these services on a daily, weekly or even an hourly basis to be able to stream video. And this is where we see the industry moving. We are there to tap into the $4.5 billion uh, video industry revenue streams that is going to be there in 2027. So watch the space, we are innovating and we're going to be brighter and bolder as we move forward into the next generation of digital services. Thank you.